Hello and welcome to Good Morning Geelong. It's our very last show before Christmas and we hope that you've uh, got all prepared and all ready for this week's festivities. Well, today is all about sport and first up, Rollo was at a football Geelong function. He caught up with some of the presidents from the league and here they are. Thank you very much to the hostess with the mostess. Yes, Megan does a great job here on Good Morning Geelong and I hope it is a good morning for you as we're joined by the new chairman of Football Geelong, Mr Andy Wisbowski. Congratulations on your appointment, Andy, and Thanks. welcome to Good Morning Geelong. Thank you, Graham. Thank you very much. Nice to see you up and uh, about so early, but uh, being one of Geelong's leading accountants here at LBW, it, uh, it is an unusual early start to the day for you. Uh, no, up, absolutely. Up, up and at them nice and early. <laughs> Andy, uh, you've been associated with uh, the Football Geelong Commission for a number of years. How many? Uh, this will be five years coming up, uh, Graham. And but previous to that, uh, a man who uh, enjoyed the game of football as well. I uh, did enjoy my footy. I started playing uh, senior footy at Newdown Chill Football Club uh, as an 18-year-old. And uh, second year at Newdown, I was uh, treasurer of the footy club and kept that role for probably 12 odd years. And then, you know, ended up having a stint as president of Newdown Footy Club and. Uh, 85, 86, 87, which was a, a golden era for the club. We, uh, we were actually lucky enough to win a couple of senior premierships and runner-up in, in the third one. So that was a, a golden era for the club and I was you know, fortunate to be leading the club at the time and stayed on after I'd finished playing footy and uh, you know, I think I did 22 years on the trot at uh, Newdown. Um, and then the better half decided uh, perhaps uh, the priorities needed to change and uh, you know, look after the kids at home a bit. Yeah, viewers, uh, I have to tell a little tale. I think it's fair to say, uh, Andy, some of those hard-playing years have, uh, have, have, have paid uh, some unfortunate circumstances. You've, you've had a knee job done this year. Uh, yeah, I've had the, uh, the um, knee replacement, so, uh, you know, that, that came about from sort of, you know, carrying blokes like Noel Fanning, you know, during my footy career that, uh, you know, wrecked the knee, so, uh, you know, you, you push on and... Uh, but anyway, yeah, no, I had the knee operation. I was sort of starting to struggle with it. I'd, uh, and I thought, you know, I'd uh, get the operation done. And it's, it's been OK. It hasn't been 100% uh, to my liking. But, uh, you know, we're sort of uh, progressing slowly with it. Progression is uh, one thing that we are uh, very uh, consistent with at Football Geelong. And uh, the appointment last uh, year, or at the beginning of 2008, of uh, Lee Hartman as our new CEO. Uh, and now, are uh, you taking over as... Uh, Chairman replacing Peter Cullen. That's an exciting time. Yeah, Lee's been um, Lee's been fantastic. He came on board uh, to replace Stephen O'Dowd, and you know we were really impressed with uh, Stephen as a uh, the CEO of Footy Geelong. But uh, he got an opportunity to, to move on, and then uh, we were really lucky to get uh, someone of the calibre of Lee Hartman to, to come on and, and take over the role. And he's come into the position. He's had uh, you know no baggage. Um, he doesn't. You know, when he uh, joined Footy Geelong, he had no favourites and, uh, you know, he basically just got in there and, and you know, he's got a very business-like manner and uh, he certainly, um, you know, Football Geelong uh, produced a reasonable profit last year and that was, you know, due in no small part to, you know, Lee's efforts. So he's been great. Uh, he's, you know, doing the role again this year and, uh, you know, he heads up a, a team of dedicated staff here at Football Geelong and, uh, you know, really we're lucky to have Lee in the calibre of uh, person that uh, we do have working for us because, uh, you know, uh, they're the people that are involved uh, in the day-to-day -day operational side of the business and, uh, you know, they do a great job. Peter Cullen, uh, you know, look, I've taken over from Peter and um, Peter basically, uh, you know, my time on the commission, he's been the chairman for the, the duration and, you know, he's a hard act to follow. Uh, you know, I step into his shoes and I hope I can uh, do the position justice. Um, you know, Peter's been great. Uh, he's been basically on the commission from uh, its inception, so he's been there right from the word go, which, you know, this is the 10th year now footy Geelong. So, uh, again, you know, I'm hoping that I can uh, basically fulfil the role and, uh, and, you know, take footy Geelong forward. It's, uh, um, you know, we are a, a obviously a fairly large organisation. We fulfil a terrific community uh, need and, uh, you know, I'm honoured to really have the, the, the role of being the chairman. And being chairman, I think you've uh, you've already uh, given leadership elements uh, to uh, the, what you see as the uh, say a vision of the role of the commission, and probably changing somewhat from uh, what it was originally set up for. Uh, Look, looking more to the future rather than the, the yeah, day to day activities. Yeah, I think so. I think uh, you know again we have Lee that's engaged to uh, to head up the the team in respect of the 
the day-to-day operational side of the, the business. And, you know, I, I see the role of the commissioners more, I guess, if you drew a parallel with the, uh, the commissioners in the AFL sense, you know, they don't get involved in uh, operational matters and really they're more in respect of uh, strategic issues as it affects uh, football. Um, you know, in the wider sense, obviously, you know, we're not the AFL and uh, uh, we're a long way removed, but still having said that, uh, there's lots of issues that, uh, you know, happen in local football and, uh, um, you know, the, the Commission of Football Geelong we need to consider, you know, what's best for uh, football and the community moving forward. So, you know, we need to be forward thinking. Uh, it's no good, you know, looking backwards. We really need to be forward thinking and, uh, you know, basically lay the platform for, you know, future success and the growth of uh, football and netball in Geelong because, uh, you know, I don't know what the numbers are, but, uh, you know, they grow on a on a, an annual basis. Uh, we're currently looking at... Uh, taking over the administration of, um, you know, the Eastern Colts Little League and uh, perhaps the Newdown uh, uh, Little League as well. So that introduces more, you know, uh, junior teams into the, in, under the organisation's uh, umbrella. And that's important, you know, moving forward. So, you know, we really see that uh, the growth of football and netball is important. We have other dangers, you know, with uh, other sports and, you know, uh, soccer's obviously always one that uh, a lot of kids play soccer these days but we'd like to think that uh, football's always got a spot in the uh, you know in the the hearts of uh, young boys and girls in Geelong. The broad shoulders they carried Newtown and Chewell on the field for many years and now he's heading up the, as chairman of Football Geelong Mr Andy Wisbowski thank you very much for your time. Thanks Rollo. Have a great Christmas I'll to you and your that. family. Same to you. Thank you.